He's coming right in. Awesome. Sweet. Dang. Good luck. <laughs> Nice. What's up, guys? Hey, Justin, you were saying after the game the other night just that, you know, in December, things ratchet up a little bit. And, mm -hmm. you know, and things definitely get you know, faster and tougher in the playoffs. How do you feel and see these rookies, the, the young guys that you have in the secondary, as far as kind of realizing that and figuring out that, hey, it's going to get harder in the next few weeks? Yeah. Um, well, first and foremost, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say we don't have rookies anymore. You know what I mean? They've had enough experience. They've had enough games under their belt. Um, they're first-year players still. Um, but, you know, that that title rookie, we really want to throw that out the window because of the experience and, you know, the snaps they have under their belt, the pelts they have on the wall, and also just to encourage them to take a little more ownership and leadership and continuing to grow and mature and be dominant. Um, as de December comes around, eventually January, eventually February, things are only going to get faster. You know, I mean, there's no way to really prepare them for how the speed will change other than to continue to harp on how you can get better day in and day out and challenge yourself week in and week out um, to be executed on all the details. You know, mistakes are magnified in the playoffs. The speed of the game is a lot faster, um, but they're ready for it. You know what I mean? And the best way to have confidence going into the playoffs is to make sure that we finish out this week strong and the next week strong um, so that they don't feel like there's any um, weaknesses going into the playoff structure. How beneficial was it for those, those young guys to take those lumps early on in the season as far as like going against the yeah. Adams? And there's, there's no better teacher than experience. Yeah. And, you know, and since they've got to be on the same field as those guys and, you know, give them the confidence to say, you know, I belong here. I've, I've lined up with the best of the best and I've held my own. Um, that type of confidence is going to come through for us uh, when we need it to. You mentioned holding your own. How do you think Latarius Sneed did? traveling uh, with DK Metcalf this past game? Oh, phenomenal. You know, Legereus is one of our most physical players in the secondary. Um, and as well as DK is a very physical player. So we knew that matchup was going to be one to have your popcorn ready for. Um, DLJ did a great job for it. Um, and that's the type of guy that he is. And we're going to continue to lean on him if a situation like that arises again. The Broncos didn't have Cortland Sutton in the last time you faced him. You finally returned to action this past game. What, what type of dynamic does that add when you combine him with Jerry Judy? Yeah, uh, I think that's a, that's the second twin tower, you know, in their offensive system. They didn't have him the first time. Um, you know, put a lot of onus on Jerry Judy uh, to take it on his own. But since they have him back, I've played against Cortland. We're in the same draft class. Um, very big receiver, wide range, uh, what, catching radius that he will have there. And, you know, it allows them... Uh, to give Russell Wilson another option there on the outside. So I think it will be good for their offense um, to have them both on the field, and I think it will be a good challenge for us um, to defend both of them. Juan has had some good games this past few weeks, man. What do you, what do you say from him that he's lined up next week? Yeah, uh, just consistency. You know what I mean? A lot of times in this game, you know, plays come in bunches, um, and a lot of players in our secondary are really getting hot at the right time. You know, it's great to have. Um, a hot season all year long, make plays along the way, but you really want to start catching fire at this time of year. Um, Juan's doing a great job playing well. He's making plays on the ball. Really should have had two interceptions last week. You know, you only got one on the board, but um, we know that that was two. Uh, and, you know, I'm excited to see him keep growing and keep, you know, putting his stamp on this franchise in the NFL. Any thoughts on J.J. Watt retiring since it's your former teammate? Yeah, man, it's nuts. It's nuts seeing it come around in circles. I actually uh, hung out with him a little bit this offseason when I was training in Arizona. Um, so I'm excited for him to go into the next chapter. Uh, the game will definitely miss players like him. Um, not only just an impactful guy, outspoken leadership, and the type of passion that he brought to the game, as well as the smack talking. I'm sure you guys have seen the clips. Um, but also all the stuff that he did off the field, too, is just truly amazing, you know, raising over $40 million during Hurricane Harvey and all the good work that he's done there. Uh, you know, the game is definitely going to miss him, but. I have a feeling that he'll be all right in the next chapter with the type of charisma and the type of character that he has um, with whatever he does next. What did you learn from him? Um, a lot of it was just the, not only just the leadership aspect of it, but also um, the attention to the end week details as far as like he went hard in the weight room. Uh, you know, Monday to Friday, he went hard. He stayed, got there early, stayed late. Um, he knew plays in the secondary, like being a defensive lineman, he knew some coverage things just because in the meetings he like paid attention to everything, soaked up a whole lot of knowledge. So that attention to detail and you know being against, being next to a future Hall of Famer, 
um, you get to pick up a little bit on that energy and that attitude. And, you know, it's like, okay, I, I can I can see right in front of me what it takes to be a player um, that's that great, you know. So I think that was beneficial for me to have him next to me for uh, the first three years. Um, and he's a good friend, so I'm happy for him with his next chapter. Justin, you were talking about the younger guys earlier. Uh, Brian made a great play on fourth down against Seattle last week. Huge. How's Brian grown this year in your eyes? Huge. Um, a guy that's reliable, very cerebral, as I've always said. Um, always ready in the moment for when he's text on the field. On that exact play, actually, we had three first-year players lined up side by side by side, all on that side of the field for a down situation. They came through for us and you know, made a big-time stop uh, to get us off the field. Um, so I'm excited for Brian. Good tackler, cerebral guy. Um, really takes advantage of his opportunities when he does get on the field. Yep. Yes, sir.